ஹலோ அந்த ஈவ் ஆஃப் தி வேர்ல்ட் கிட்னி டே விச் இஸ் ஆன் தார்ஸ் டே ஆர் விச் நார்மலி செலிப்ரேட்டட் ஆன் செகண்ட் தார்ஸ் டே ஆஃப் மார்ச் வித் த்ரீ பீப்புள் ஃப்ரம் அரண்டேகோர் இன்டர்நேஷ்னல் அன் இன்ஸ்டிடியூட் ஆஃப் கார்டியாக் சயின்சஸ் ஐ ஆம் டாக்டர் டிஎஸ் ராய் அண்ட் ஐ ஹேவ் அவர் சீனியர் கன்சல்டன்ட்ஸ் டாக்டர் பிரத்திக் தாஸ் அண்ட் டாக்டர் சர்மிலா டுக்ரால் வித் வாஸ்ட் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் இன் நெஃப்ரலாஜி ஆர் ஹியர் டு டாக் அபவுட் வேர்ல்ட் கிட்னி டே வை வி செலிப்ரேட் திஸ் அண்ட் வட் டு டூ அபவுட் இன்க்ரீஸிங் கிட்னி டிசீசஸ் இன் த கம்யூனிட்டி this is, has been estimated that around 10% people that means 10 out of 100 people will be suffering from kidney disease or are suffering from kidney disease so this is so common and kidney disease at a later stage is a deadly disease it's not a very simple disease it is deadly because there is lot of morbidity sickness there is death and there is lot of financial implication specially on the family and in the community in the society so there are many kidney diseases but unfortunately the government as well as the community gives importance to certain important diseases like cardiac diseases like diabetes mellitus like chronic lung diseases like cancer but kidney disease doesn't uh, people don't know about kidney diseases people don't ask about kidney diseases people don't discuss about kidney diseases so we face people who are coming to us in a very advanced stage where you cannot prevent or you cannot delay the advanced stage which if you know early if somebody is aware of this and knows early this this can be done so we are here to discuss this all about early kidney, kidney diseases its diagnosis its prevention and what to do not to, for uh, retarding the progression of the kidney diseases uh, the world nephrology association uh, or international society of nephrology organizes a world kidney day on second thursday of every march to make people aware of the kidney problems aware of their health aware of their situation how their kidney is how their blood pressure is whether they have sugar or not so that they can take preventive measures they can come to the doctor they can ask the health workers how to go about it this year the slogan is bridging the knowledge gap to improve kidney care that means we must impart knowledge to our technicians to the government to the community at large so that they know about kidney problems and they can take care or they can ask for help of their kidney problems with this small introduction i'll request dr sarmila tukral uh, to tell us the what are the kidney diseases in different uh, ages how do they present early and how to diagnose it in the early stages dr tukral please so as we all know kidney diseases are uh, the rate of kidney diseases increase is exponential now worldwide even in india like developed countries kidney diseases are uh, increasing day by day the problem with kidney diseases is that uh, they are asymptomatic till a very late stage and when people present to you it's already quite late so uh, the causes of kidney diseases in uh, children and adults are a little different in children it might be because of various congenital problems or a nephrotic syndrome or when they suffer from a very commonly suffer from acute diarrheal illnesses in rural areas a various kind of snake bites can present with an acute kidney illness so and in adults Uh, the patients generally come with uh, diabetes is increasing at a uh, high rate high diabetes hypertension obesity all these lifestyle diseases also lead to kidney problems so we always advise our patients to get screened at regular intervals at 3 months or 6 months with simple blood and urine tests so that one can 
know that they are having a kidney problem. They will remain asymptomatic till even the 70-80% of the kidney function is lost. And uh, even uh, with a simple urine test, a dipstick test or a creatinine test, one can know that the person suffers from a kidney disease. In early stages, this can be retarded and uh, slowed. In late stages, one has to either undergo a dialysis treatment or a renal transplant in order to survive. Thank you. What she told us that uh, the kidney diseases vary in different ages. In childhood, very early childhood, it can be congenital uh, and uh, there can be growth retardation and all those problems. In a younger people, it can be something we call glomerulonephritis or kidney disease where one will pass protein in the urine, one can have blood cells in the uh, red blood cells in the urine and early detection can lead to a biopsy diagnosis and management to delay the progression or even the cure the disease. Similarly, in middle age, one can have different diseases like vasculitis, like SLE, like diabetes in a later age, hypertension can cause problem. So multiple diseases do happen in multiple uh, different, different phases of life and a, at least an annual checkup or regular checkup will be helpful or any kind of abnormality one should seek attention from the um, doctor. Uh, Dr. Das, uh, you are an experienced nephrologist. Please tell us uh, how to prevent these diseases in different stages so that they don't progress to advanced kidney failure or advanced problems. As you know, the already discussed that kidney diseases are in the initial phases, they are uh, really asymptomatic, but at the end stage, it goes into the devastating disease requiring dialysis, not only reduces the lifespan, it also uh, retards the quality of life, as well as uh, uh, this is a huge socioeconomic burden to the society. So the idea of uh, uh, treating a patient of chronic kidney disease is to delay the this development of this end stage renal failure one to uh, reduce the mortality 2 and to improve the quality of life 3. So th for this purpose, basically uh, the chronic kidney disease has been staged in different, suppose in numerically, suppose the normal kidney function if it is 100 and it has been divided in 5 stages, stage 1 is the best and stage 5 is the worst, means when this is less than 15, say uh, we call it a glomerular filtration rate. So in those stages, patient requires dialysis or kidney transplantations and they have a huge mortality not only from the kidney disease but also from the cardiovascular disease. But in the rest four stages, in the initial stage 1, 2, 3, 4, that is uh, the kidney function when it is in between 16 to uh, 90, you can tell, in those situations, these things can be delayed. So first is the, uh, the, in the, uh, is the re idea is to retard the progression of the kidney disease that can be done by controlling the original disease that when if the diabetes is the cause hypertension is the cause any nephritis is the cause so you treat those diseases properly so that the secondary effect of the disease on the kidney that has been delayed so control of blood pressure control of blood sugar at the same time giving some drugs which also prevent this uh, gradual reduction of the uh, kidney functions like uh, there are some anti pressure anti hypertensive drugs or there are two three four five groups of drugs that can be prescribed by only by the specialist and that should be given in those patients so that the kidney function whichever may be suppose in the diagnosis it was 40 that can be kept near to the 40 as long as possible it doesn't ret reduce to less than 10 so the treatment of the original disease uh, uh, to delay the progression is the first one second one as the disease progresses it affects the different organs and patient develop the additional effects suppose a kidney disease when it goes below uh, function goes below 60 the patient becomes anemic uh, there is a, a bone disease there is a acid base balance abnormality there is a sodium potassium abnormality so these things also not only reduces the lifespan causes mortality but also it uh, uh, alters the quality of life uh, so in those situation you have to treat those uh, comorbidities like treatment of anemia treatment of bone disease uh, treatment of uh, acid base balance abnormality and uh, if these things are controlled whichever life with whatever kidney function patient survives he will, will uh, have a good quality of life 
and even with this all probabilities by retarding progression treating the primary disease treating the comorbidities if the patient goes into the advanced stages of kidney disease there is a stage of preparation because you know this is a devastating disease one day uh, it is told that you have to go for a dialysis or transplantation the patient uh, just lands in no hair so you have to prepare them for those things this is called a stage of preparation the stage 4 in those situation you have to vaccinate the patient so that the because these patients are more prone to develop the disease like hepatitis b this is a uh, covid and uh, the, this pneumonia influenza so you have to vaccinate them at the same time you have to prepare what can be the next plan if they are planning for a kidney transplantation so they have to uh, register their name or to look for a donor or screen their blood test how uh, 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 in which stage they are so preparation for the transplantations or preparation for dialysis making and channel in the hand we call it av fistula or <coughs> you can know about detail about this renal we call it renal replacement therapy so the journey of these patients starts with the very early stages where you treat the primary disease goes into the phase of comorbidities when you treat the additional diseases to make the life more stable and in the last stage is the preparatory phase so the, you prepare for the treatment of the advanced kidney disease so that you, 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 you can go to the transplantations or the dialysis very smoothly thank you thank you dr das so dr das told us that how the kidney disease progresses especially chronic kidney disease progresses over years from a very early stage or stage 1 to stage 5 where they need lot of supports kidney supports in the form of dialysis and transplantation and in each stage something can be done about the problem something can be given to the patient drugs can be given to the patient and and the progression can be slowed similarly patients who have not chronic kidney disease like certain vasculitis the the blood vessels problems or sles or there are other kidney diseases which if we can diagnose early even with medication they can be cured so any kind of problem without delaying without if you have swelling if you have urinary problem without delaying you should contact uh, your doctor or somebody who can guide you so that an early diagnosis is made and maybe they will not go into chronic kidney disease so that is also an important area where you you need uh, you as a patient you as a worker health worker should be aware of um, we are coming to the close but would you suggest uh, how we will propagate the knowledge of kidney disease maybe in community how do we do that it is very important to, to have the knowledge of the kidney disease because as we are discussing it is a mostly asymptomatic disease so there are some patients who are more prone to develop the diseases they should be on regular like the patients of diabetes patients of hypertension with a family history of kidney disease with a childhood kidney disease or uh, in those situations they should have a regular follow up and uh, 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 their families should be uh, trained in that way so that the uh, if, even if they have don't any uh, they don't have any problem related to the kidney they can be regularly followed up and these symptoms and early subtle symptoms that can be uh, dealt with the different uh, electronic medias by conducting the seminars and the awareness program that can be done because like the it is like a disease like cancer but the uh, knowledge of us is not like that we don't think of even in that way think is a kidney disease less like a heart disease not like that so at a large in the community there should be a, a awareness at the same time and to identify what the high risk people to do the test regularly basic preliminary one or urine test and one ultrasound or one blood test that is suffice and even if the schools uh, there can be annual health checkup and if there is any problem we detect in any of the students in the that is done in different uh, countries uh, they can be followed up for the long term so that what uh, so that their life can be prolonged and in, uh, done in a better way so these things are important the, the most important thing is the this is the spreading of the knowledge this is a disease this is a progressive disease this can be slowed it may not be cured but it can be slowed down and that is a huge achievement absolutely absolutely <coughs> we need to go to the community level as a society we are also going to government the policy makers the politicians even the health workers they all the health workers do not know about kidney diseases somehow they know about heart people know about diabetes or cancer kidney disease even though it's i will believe that it is more devastating than the, uh, these diseases but somehow people don't know about it that's why we face 
or we see patients in advanced kidney failure where we our hands are tight we cannot uh, do much except giving them dialysis or terminal care so i believe we we all are trying for that which should be done no uh, health talk or no talk on kidney diseases will be complete without talking about healthy lifestyle i'll request dr tukral to talk about healthy lifestyle so uh, healthy life uh, style is important to all of us especially in uh, uh, this era where lifestyle diseases is just going on increasing that includes a good nutritious diet a good exercise program for everybody and uh, one should give up uh, habits like smoking or alcohol and have at least uh, regular aerobic exercises plus uh, the uh, the strength training exercises in a week at least 3 to 4 times and maintain a, uh, maintain a good body weight with the good uh, nutrition and uh, we should make everyone aware of the uh, spreading uh, renal uh, problems and uh, hold more campaigns and educative programs thank you thank you i think we'll end here i think we have been able to give a message that you should know about your kidney diseases or you should check yourself for kidney diseases you have if you have a family history and if you have other comorbidities like diabetes and hypertension and seek help thank you